all right guys welcome back so in the last video we learned how to add a button inside our application and in this video we are going to learn how to add an image inside our application and this video is going to be a lot more easier because adding an image is pretty easy so the first things first we need to add an image inside our project so i've already downloaded this cute.png which has a cute image of a dog so if you want to follow along you can just go to google i've just googled this cute png and downloaded the second image so you can also download it and save it inside your project folder and now to use this image we need to import the image functionality from kiwi so we are just going to write from kiwi.uix which contains all the user interface functionality and then we are going to import this image functionality with a capital i so we're just going to write image and as you can see over here, there are two types of functionality that we can use. The first is the image and the second is the async image. Whenever we have to add an image from a project, so for example, we have right now copied cute.png and this file is inside our project. So we can just use this image functionality. What if we wanted to import or add an image from a URL? In that case, we will be using this async functionality of async image. And we are going to cover both of them. So I'm just going to add image and I'm also going to add this async image functionality. And after that, I'm just going to create this variable of image and I'm going to use the image functionality that we just imported and it requires a parameter of source so s o u r c e and it requires the path of our file so currently the path is inside our project so i'm just going to write q.png now if this q.png was an another folder then we would have written the name of the folder so for example uh, like folder name and then we would have put a slash and we would have gone to this q.png but because this q.png is in the same path as this main.py file that is why we don't need to specify the folder name and now we can just return instead of uh, this path, we can just return this image on the screen. And now we can just run it and see if it works. So run the main file and hopefully the image will be shown on the screen. So as you can see, there's this cute dog with a black background, which doesn't look that good, but it's all right. Our image is being shown. Now, what if we wanted to download the same image from a URL? So what we are going to do is I'm just going to comment this line out and uh, let me just copy this actually and paste this again over here. And instead of using this image, we are going to use this image async functionality. So I'm going to copy and paste this over here and the code is going to be the same in the source. We are just going to write this q.png instead of this q.png. We need to specify a URL. So what you need to do is you can go to this image, just right click on it and click on copy image address. And this is going to give you a direct address. So for example, if I paste it over here, you can see that my image is ending with a file extension. So this file extension should you .png, .jpg, and only then this file is valid. Otherwise, if you copy and paste a URL, it's not going to be valid. So for example, if I press enter over here, you can see that this image is being shown. So I'm just going to copy and paste this inside our async image functionality and this looks pretty good let's just hit reload and see if it works so you can see there is this reload thing happening over here and then the image is being shown so using async image you can download an image from the internet through a url all right guys so this was a pretty short video and adding an image is pretty easy but it's always useful when you're making mobile apps and in the next video, we are going to learn about layouts, which basically means telling the code where our buttons, labels and images are going to be on the screen. So I'll see you over there.